Well, how do their chums to say, Captain of the Station today, chums? It's a cup of tea with Captain Stephen. What are we talking about today, people in the view of us? Let me just have a little swig of this and I'll let you know. Oh, that's still pretty darn freaking hot. Right, okay, well, I'd stick that over there. We're talking about AI and the future of gaming, people in the view of us. Now, let's just jump on over to my reaction cam. There only be, but a bum. Now, in the background here, I've got Dungeons and Dragons. That's just going to be playing in the background. So, if you've never played Dungeons and Dragons, the tabletop game, Basically, what happens is you've usually got a mate that's going to be the dungeon master or you're the dungeon master. And you actually sit down there or here they sit down there and they write out a massive great big script of things that are going to happen. They make a whole freaking story. You go around their house, you create a character sheet, you roll some dice, you get your stats and you jump on in into this world that the dungeon master has created and their storylines. And they've usually got side arcs and places you can go and things you can do. And it's different every time you go around your friend's house and the dungeon master lays on this epic quest with epic monsters like giant dragons and all sorts of stuff that you're going have to come across and battle with and and try to struggle through now i've always been waiting for a an actual game to hit a console that does exactly that so you've got this big open universe you go and talk to a mission giver and the mission giver gives you a different mission that's procedurally generated based on some sort of algorithm that is created there on the fly you know so every time you go in you've got a new mission and it's a new sort of adventure every time you jump on in now no man's sky would be perfect candidate for this sort of ai implementation i mean at the moment we go and speak to a missions agent in a station and they might say take this contraband and deliver it to this guy in this system but what it fails to give you is any sort of background to it you know if it gave you some sort of synopsis or maybe even a little cutscene that comes up and says this guy you know he's in a bad way he needs this to actually survive or he needs these contraband items to put something together to save his daughter or something you know we've got all this sort of sort of procedural text when it comes to freighter missions when you send out your frigates on missions you get all the synopsis at the end of what actually took place on that actual mission and sometimes it comes up where we visited a diplo farm well if they could implement some sort of AI mission givers to send you to planets where you visit and there's actual diplos on the planets and that sort of made sense. Which technically, you know, Hello Games know what's on planets because of spores and spawn and seed values and things like that. I would like to hope that they could implement something along those sort of lines to it bring in some sort of AI sort of scripting when it comes to mission giving and all sorts of things. I mean, these RPGs, these role-playing tabletop games, there's Dungeons & Dragons, which is the most known about one, which I've got on screen here. But I used to play one in the Warhammer universe with Death Watch. You know, if you're watching and you're from like Wizards of the Coast or wherever, or even from Warhammer, I'm fairly sure you guys have got the actual... <sighs> acumen i would like to hope to bring out some sort of game that can emulate a dungeon master at the end of the day a dungeon master is a human mind and we keep going on about how ai is going to break new plateaus and reshape everything inside of the the known sort of world today well i would like to see it do something to video games i think this would be the best place to try out some sort of ai when it comes to simple mission giving and generating things and the loot table and the, the creatures that you're going to encounter during that mission run or in, say if it was no man's sky going back to no man's sky you pick up a missions agent we go back to that contraband one and you're flying it across the universe well maybe some sort of sentinels will come at you at the same time as pirates and stuff you know depending on how well stacked you are the actual ai could generate you a challenge that's equal to your level with inside of no man's sky i mean this i'm making it sound probably far easier than it is i can't imagine it's going to be that easy to script all of this wonderful stuff but you know all this wonderful stuff has been in a tabletop game with dice rolling and character sheets for freaking oodles and boodles of freaking years mate so I would love to hope to see this come into video games in our lifetimes at least anyway people some sort of ai scripting to make every single adventure seem like a new adventure it's like this new hogwarts game that's coming out soon 
you know, it doesn't really break any molds. It's the same stuff, but just with a reskin. I mean, as I was watching Hogwarts Legacy and watching them do all those sort of shenanigans with the freaking wands and doing the combat, it looked just like Star Wars Fallen Order in a roundabout way. The same sort of skills as well. It just looked like a reskin. You know, if you want to dodge out the way, you do a roly poly, and then you've got this, and you got that, and you've got like the little the the, the moves wheel in the bottom corner, and you've got the cooldowns and stuff. It it just feels like a tried and tested sort of remedy. I mean, all of that again it needs a bit of an uplift. It needs a little bit of a you know, a slight sort of change there. I mean, it's even like in um, these sort of tabletop games. You know, you roll in a dice against whether your your odds are going to be good or bad with the hit and the miss and so forth and so on it would be nice to see some of that sort of element added in as well perhaps a little bit a little bit of skill rather than random chance but at the same time if you've got all the stat sheets it's going to give you that boost in the right direction it works inside of dungeons and dragons is what i'm getting at get some of that working in say something like hogwarts and make it a little bit more rpg which would have worked quite nicely in my opinion. And it's like if you go to see a teacher or one of your professors, they could give you an AI scripted mission that you know another player isn't going to get. Because at the moment, every single player knows what they're going to get and knows what to expect. I mean, yes, you could have all the main quest line, but after you've done the main quest line for that particular teacher, go talk to them again. They give you a random sort of adventure that is actually bespoke to that quest giver. So if you go and see somebody like Hagrid, they might want you to go and get some sort of strange creature egg and bring it back that they're going to hatch or whatever. That's not part of the main quest, but you go and speak to them. At least they're going to say something thing different because that's something that i really find irksome inside of a lot of these sort of games is when you go and speak to a pc an npc quest giver they give you a quest oh go and save my son johnny you go save their son johnny you go back to them you talk to them and it's like thank you for saving my son johnny and then you go and talk to them like maybe an hour later and it's like thank you for saving my son johnny and that's all you're going to get from that NPC for the rest of the freaking duration of the game. But then it, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you go and speak to them and say, oh yeah, thank you for rescuing Johnny, but sadly he's gone freaking missing again. And uh, yeah, I don't know where he's gone. And it spins into another quest line. Or, oh, Johnny's ill. Can you help? He needs, he needs some medications. Can you go get these herbs? Can you go get this? Can you go get that? I just feel that AI could add a lot more depth into game and bring in a lot more playability and hopefully if it is an AI driven sort of engine inside of a procedural engine when you put the two together you got a game that never ends it goes on and on my friend heck yes <laughs> yeah tad annoying but you get what I'm saying it and a perfect candidate, I think, would be No Man's Sky. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for AI, and it doesn't conquer the world and completely scupper us into oblivion, because I do see that it could be the future of gaming, to be honest, people. But there we go. I think I've sort of gone on and put across my um, sort of take on this. Oh, you know what? Let's make myself nice and large while I'm just sort of ending off on this one. But yeah, that's, um, if you are interested in Dungeons and & Dragons and you did like the look of that video in the background, I'll put a link to the full video inside of the video description. I just had it on in the background just as something to give you some sort of visual representation of what's going on inside of my head, people in the view of us. But yeah... Tabletop dice rolling games, character sheets, and having a dungeon master, it's still brilliant fun. If you've never tried Dungeons and Dragons or a similar sort of game, they even do a Marvel one now, people, where you get to play as Marvel superheroes. It's pretty darn cool. Join the X-Men or whatever, you know, depending on what your dungeon master comes up with. But that was thoroughly good fun. And Death Watch, the Warhammer one. Oh my days, did I have fun with that. That was freaking great. But yeah, I mean... Even now, I've got very fond memories of sitting down around a table with a group of mates, with a dungeon master, and going up against the dungeon master and whatever they can throw at us. And yeah, I just feel that games need that. Video games could do with that. And with the way that AI is going, it could get implemented. 
I'm just hoping. I hope it happens with inside of the current gen that we're in now, like the PlayStation 5s, the Xbox Series Xs of the universe and current PCs. I really do hope something comes in when it comes to ground-breaking game because we haven't had something, you know, for a while. You know, it's like Mario's when you know, Super Mario made the leap to Mario 64 and it went all four, you know, 3D. Like, oh my days! This is freaking Earth Shadow. This is this is, yeah, groundbreaking stuff. The only time I think we've had that happen was with No Man's Sky in the way that it gave a whole procedural universe for us to explore. I know it's been done before with like Elite Dangerous on the old Amiga. Um, but not to the same level, you know, No Man's Sky, for me, has broken the mould slightly, and that's why I love it so much. We are seeing more procedural games appearing though, people, like our Nightingale. Nightingale, check that out, that looks pretty darn cool if you like procedural stuff. And Under a Rock, another procedural game that I got my eye peepers on, that one looks good too. Anyway, people, I think I've gone on for long enough and taken up long enough of your morning, and I've still got a whole freaking cup of tea to freaking down, my friends. So you know what? I'm going to say cheers and thank you for tuning in, and um, I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.